The renowned Cuban musician Alexander Abreu denounced through his Facebook account having received messages of hate, threats and racism as he defends, through his music, the principles of the Cuban revolutionary process, its system, culture and traditions. Receiving those messages with so much hate makes me feel so blue. Why? Because I am a human being. I am a Cuban in every sense of the word. Like Abreu, other intellectuals and artists of the island have been affected by a campaign launched from the United States ever since Donald Trump became president, who has allocated more than $22 million for subversion projects against Cuba since taking office on January 20, 2017. As you can see, these are attempts to harm Cuba in practically all areas that are important for the country's economic development. They have not been more successful and have not led to the collapse of our country because of the country's organizational capacity, because of the nature of our social system and because of the experience we have gained over many years. But it should not be ignored that it is significant damage that affects Cuba's potential for development, the well-being of the whole population and of course it is aimed at punishing the Cuban people. Trump's administration has marked a setback in relations between Cuba and the U.S. by ending cultural and academic exchange projects, limiting travel licenses for such activities, and funding projects that seek to use Cuban musicians to build a network of young people seeking social change within the island through the U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID. And on the strictly artistic cultural level, the worst things that are happening come with shades of opinion that try to stigmatize the Cuban cultural policy. I believe that art breaks down borders and tends to establish bridges of communication between human beings beyond any system or any prohibition. In the face of this wave of threats, several artists from Cuba have ratified their support for the Cuban social system and are demanding an end to U.S. policies that harm their country's development. I support those, I say categorically. I support the lifting of the brutal blockade that the government of the United States imposes on my country. I support it, but not temporarily because of the epidemic. I support it every day. I believe it is inhumane. I believe it is murderous. On Thursday, Cuban President Miguel Díaz-Canel proposed to confront, based on the truth, identity and love, the media campaign of manipulation and hate against the intellectuals and artists of his country, organized from the United States, a country where demonstrations of racism have intensified recently with the increase of violent acts of segregation. <laughs> Nayara Tardo, Telesur, La Habana.